does a little initialization, wakes itself up. Oh, what about that? Same. That's a good point. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay if it's tilted a little bit like that. You don't want it picking up. Right. Yeah. Okay. Doing some flushes. Make sure everything is clean before samples go through. That's, that sucking sound is a pump. Sucking out the wastewater. segmentation of sample buffer mixture. Bring it over the coil, and then it's going to slosh it back and forth in the coil to get reduction of nitrate into nitrite. Mixing step in the coil goes for about 25 seconds as you set up in the parameters. Mm -hmm. And then after 25 seconds, it will move on to the, it'll pick up a little aliquot of that sample buffer mixture, clean itself quick. It's going to pick up sulfonilamide NED, the color reagent, mm -hmm. and then we'll add that to the other well. Every time it goes down into a sample, goes down into a reagent, the probe is going through that probe wash assembly and cleaning off excess reagent, excess sample uh, to prevent cross-contamination. There's always an incubation period associated with each reaction to let the color development form. And in this case, it happens to be about eight minutes. After eight minutes, that's when the second arm is going to kick in and pick up the completed reaction into our detector. This other probe also has its own washing mechanism in the form of this wash bath right here. <laughs> 